Here's an example of an encoding that we've touched on in the case of crates. Um, here is a lambda in a variant of curly that has multiple arguments of functions. But that's not the variant of curly we have implemented so far. What we have so far is lambda that always has a single argument. And the way you can implement a function that takes two arguments in terms of a function that uses one argument is just to nest the lambdas. So here the function takes x first, then it returns another function that takes a y, and then it can add x and y. And the way we have to call this function is not f of two arguments like that, but we give it a first argument and then we give it a second argument. These two programs are equivalent in that they both return three, um, but they just do it using a, a smaller language feature in the second case, lambdas with just one argument. And of course, uh, as before, it's not really the plus xy that matters. This works for any body. Uh, in fact, it works for any variables and any number of variables. You just have to use the same names, and you have to nest, nest lambdas the same number of times that you have arguments, and you nest applications the same number of times that you have arguments. This general transformation is called currying. We could make parse do this uh, transformation, but instead we're going to tend to do this one by hand. If we wanted to write down a two-argument function, we'll just write it this way as a one-argument function, and it's not so bad to write it and read it that way.